Hi guys, Steve here, and in this video I'm going to share the new way to tame a Furox. We've updated the game since it first came out, and made it harder to tame as you need much more resources now. We've also removed being able to knock it out and then feed it seeds or berries, so the only way you can tame it now is with Element, and you'll need a hell of a lot of it. You can buy Element with Hexagons, and you can earn those by doing the quests at these consoles. When you've earned enough, go to your robot, then exchange Hexagons, scroll down, and elements close to the bottom, 2,000 each. To find the Ferox Cave, the best and easiest place to tame them, go to your mission list, find searching the throw zone, track mission, and that'll give you a marker on the screen to show you where to go. It's at the top of this small stream and waterfall. I'm going there with a Bloodstalker. I've done a video on how to tame these as well if you want to check out my channel. There's some dangerous bears inside this cave, so come equipped to kill them. That's the console. Cave's down there. It might be best if you take a few sleeping bags. Just in case things go horribly wrong. But we shouldn't do. What's that? What's the mammoth? Alright, put my stalker on passive. So it doesn't wander off. Go in a cave. Keep your eyes open. Those bears are pretty dangerous and fast moving. Where's that bear? Oh. Stuck inside a wall. He's meshing. Right, there's loads of bears in the pit in the middle of a room. I'm going to use a crossbow to go to the roof. Grapple hook up. Dangle above them where I'm safe. Use a shotgun. There's a fur ox. Make sure you don't shoot that. Start massacring all the bears from above. You don't have to bring a shotgun. If you've got one, you can bring a creature to come in and kill them. But all of them are attacking you at once. We did quite a lot of damage to make sure it's a tough one. I'm going to skip forward a bit until I've killed them all. There's one over there. I think that's all of them. Lower myself down. Press C to cut a wire. Oh, there's one left. Shoot it in the ass. There we go. Right, where's that ferox gone? Take a few of these plants down to see if I can see it. Oh, there it is. Now get the element, put it on the zero of your hotbar. Go up to it and feed it. It will start hawking out and grow huge. And use a grappling hook to go to the ceiling again. So you're safe up here and it can't get you. It will go around trying to kill everything on the ground. If you're high enough it won't be able to jump up and attack you. Keep an eye on it. It will wander around a bit as you're out of range. Get tired, then shrink down to a baby little fluffy form. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's getting angry. Go to the roof again when you're safe. What level are you? Level 15, I don't need you. I'm gonna kill you. Ooh. Don't kill that one I'm after. Bear's still stuck in a wall. I'll kill his fur ox. So it doesn't clobber the one I'm trying to tame. I think that's safe. So if there's any more, lower yourself down, right mouse button, and see to cut a wire. Is that it? Yeah, it is. 
Right, go up to it again, give it more element. It loves the stuff. It's like feeding it chalky. It'll grow big, go to the roof again. Just hang around. It'll kill the bears if there's any in the cave. Wait for it to tire itself out. There we go. Lay yourself down. It'll wake up again. Let's see how much it's tamed. 17%. Now as you can see, it takes a hell of a lot more element to tame it. And I'm on a times 4 taming server. It originally took only one or two element to tame which was still a fairly high price for everyone who starts off on Genesis, as you can only buy it from the exchange market, but you still could get one early game and use it sparingly. Now they've changed it, it's more of a late game tame, unless you import a character that can already make tech element. It's just had its third piece of element. Let's have some light, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Put it down, oh, that moves. Should be okay. Again, tiny form soon. There we go. Let's see what taming it's on. Oh, I need to put element. Oh, 140. It's trapped in there though. You need to put element on your hotbar. We can't see what taming percentage it's on. 25%. Just go and get the torch. It's growing, so go to the ceiling again. Cheeky git, try to get me. Don't like how it bounces up and down on a grappling hook line. It's quite annoying. Go on, little fella, run free. Run free, little fella. You shall be mine. Oh, you tied yourself out. Okay, drop down. Oh, better stop doing that. Running a bit low on health. Where have you gone? What oh, are you? Thirty-three percent. Here you are. Here's your favourite food. Let's get back to the roof. Oh, clobbered me. But you can't get me up here, can you? Right, I'm running a bit low on element and grappling hooks, so I'm going to get some out of stalker, and I shall be back. In a second. It's had five element up to now. It should have shrunk down to his small size. There he is. Let's give him another one. Go on, take it. You know you want it. Back to the roof again. Oh, you can't get me. Okay, I'm going to continue this and skip forward to every time I give it element. This will be the seventh one. It's at fifty-eight percent. Come on, drag it out of a cave because you don't want it to hulk out in that small tunnel. Otherwise, it might clip through and it vanish. There's eight. Here comes nine. Go on, take it. There you go. Right, 
it's on 83% and if you want to see its taming bar just click H on it while you're looking at it there's 10 92% is 11 that should take him to 100% just let him get big have a little wander around and when he shrinks down he should be tamed remember this is a level 85 fur ox on a times 4 server so this much element is way out of range of an early game people who have actually started on a Genesis server. There we go, it's tamed. Let's name it. Oh, so cute. Fluffer. Let's call you Baby Fluff. Oh, I want some more. Right, I'll go outside. Oh, I need to show you the GPS coordinates where it is on the map. Just in case you don't do the track mission. 70 by 26. Almost to the left, middle of a map. Oh, and before I forget, this is the main place I like to tame fur ox. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's one in the wall. But you have also noticed a passageway in the back. So follow this through. Prepare for a fight. That's a bit bright on it. Let's just go with shotgun. Follow it round. Leads out into another big cave where there's more fur oxes, but there's also loads more bears. So you're gonna have to kill them to try and find it. Uh, uh, oh, there's one. Let's get out of here, sharpish. You can catch them and get them stuck on the corners. I think they're too big to fit through there. Right, let's go to the entrance. I'll show you what this little fluff can do. Right, we don't need that marker anymore. So let's go to mission list and remove it. Click on your mission, on track. Throw the fur ox on the ground. He finds element dust when you throw him down. Well, three elements to transform it. Let's give it him then. Go on, eat up. You'll grow up to be a big strong boy. Rah, massive fluffy. The more element you give it, the more addicted he becomes to it. Then you'll have to give it more element to transform next time. That's its stats. Remember it's only uh, 85. Now you get no fall damage when you jump. And if you jump again straight after, you do super huge jumps. So it's really good at travelling around. I do like Furox. It's just that uh, the element costs so much. When you started off on Genesis, you barely use them. It also jumps onto walls, but it's a bit janky to be honest. If it's like an overhang, it finds real problems getting over it. You can look in a direction and press space to jump in that direction. When the transformation lifetime bar reaches zero, the fur ox will become small again. Let's try and find a flatter cliff face. This one should be better. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. So it's okay on flat surfaces, but if it's overhanging, it's going to have big problems. Alright, 
look around. Press C, hold, and let go, and it will throw a rock. It does quite a lot of damage actually. I use it to aggro the magma source in a volcanic area. So C to throw. Go on, get up, you can make it. So it's a bit janky. It's not that great at climbing, even though it's supposed to be a climber. Alright, left mouse button does loads of damage. Like a little Tasmanian devil. some of that. You can also put a helmet on it. I'd advise armour. I'm just giving it a hood because its ears look cold. <laughs> right, let's get on a flat surface. Right mouse button it does a jump slam. Left mouse button, rip. C, throw rock. Let's kill that horse. Let's, let's chuck rocks at it. Have some of that. Have some of that at your head. Oh, look at that. Throws it quite a long way as well. If you look in the bottom right, you see a shield. It insulates you when you're riding it. And it also insulates you when it's small, riding on your shoulder. So you saw how much element I needed to tame a level 85 on a times 4 server, so you're going to need quite a lot to tame a 150. Oh, little Fluffy's tired. He's knackered, bless him. Tied himself out. Aren't they cute? Hope this video's been helpful, guys. Please subscribe, because if you don't, I'll shotgun it in the head. <laughs> If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!